This webinar explains why using X-ray systems for check weighing is a smart choice. The webinar will cover the following topics. Introduction Why inline check weighing? Types of check weighing Know your processes, expectations, and requirements. X-ray can see and measure more than just the overall package mass. X-ray systems help eliminate troublesome application issues. Conclusion X-ray inspection systems provide unrivaled performance for contaminant detection and also perform a wide range of inline quality checks. They are capable of determining mass that can provide 100% inline check weighing inspection to assist manufacturers in meeting local weights and measures regulations for package weight compliance. Consumer brand loyalties can be severely crippled and even destroyed if a company's brand is faced with negative publicity surrounding bad consumer experiences such as a recall relating to package net weights. Bad consumer experiences can range from having a lower count than the expected package quantity to a ready meal carton missing a dessert. Systematic non-compliance to package net and average weight laws can lead to formal recalls and even fines. This webinar discusses the various merits of using the inline check weighing functionality within the X-ray system to help ensure that the consumers receive what they expect from a product. The importance of delivering to the consumer exactly what they have ordered and paid for is paramount in today's highly competitive retailing market. While in many regions of the world, the use of inline check weighing is not mandated by law. Many manufacturers use them to accomplish three important goals. The first goal is to comply with weights and measures regulations. Most countries have packaging requirements that make it an offense to sell underweight packages of product. The prime goal of the producer is to stay on the legal side of this requirement. By using 100% check weighing inspection to keep production lines in tune, producers ensure that sampling audits, tests, or challenges required to prove compliance pass. For countries or locations where legal for trade in-line checking is required to comply with weights and measures regulations, a gravimetric check weigher which has received local weights and measures approval must be used. X-ray systems cannot be used for legal for trade applications. The second goal is to maximize profitability. Ideally, the check weighing target weight would equal the nominal weight as declared on the package label, thereby eliminating the amount of product which is given away and maximizing the profitability of the product being produced. Manufacturers use inline check weighing to help control their processes to produce highly consistent product with minimal variation. The final goal is to build consumer brand loyalty and retention by producing a consistently high-quality product. Delivering a superb quality product helps to keep customers loyal to the product as well as attract new customers. Check weighing can help provide the level of quality and consistency that will convert first-time users into brand-loyal customers. Modern gravimetric check weighers, sometimes referred to as conventional check weighers, have been used since the early 1950s. These machines use the Earth's gravitational pull to convert the mass of the package into a calibrated electrical signal by using an electromechanical sensor called a weigh cell or load cell that signal is then converted into a weight value. The weight value is displayed digitally on the check weigher user interface which is then used to determine the classification of the package as an accepted or rejected product. Setup of gravimetric check weighers varies, but in many cases, the weigh conveyor is first calibrated using known test weights with the conveyors turned off. A predefined good package that's approximately equal to the desired package target weight is placed on the weigh conveyor with the package static weight recorded. 
The conveyors are started and the package is passed over the weigh conveyor multiple times with the mean average weight recorded and compared to the statically weighed value. If there's a significant variation between the package static weight and the average weight recorded from the multiple passes, a dynamic correction factor may be used to compensate for the different results. Zone settings, including reject configuration, corresponding to local weights and measures legislation or standards identified by the company's quality group, are then entered into the package setup and the systems ready to operate. X-ray systems have been a reliable source for inspecting food and other consumer packaged goods for contaminants since the mid-1990s. The method by which X-ray systems determine mass is by measuring the absorption values, often referred to as the gray scale or gray tones of the inspected item. The gray tones enable the creation of a 3D image product allowing the system to deliver a volumetric measurement which is used to determine its mass and weight value. High-performance X-ray systems have auto-learn application tools, making this setup process simple and easy. Initially, a package close to the nominal labeled weight is placed on a calibrated scale and then passed through the X-ray system 10 or more times. The weight of that package is then recorded and the system uses that reference package image and mass value to calculate and compare the weight values of subsequent packages that are processed against the reference package. It is important to note that the reference package weight does not have to equal the exact target weight of the package setup. It only needs to be a representative, good package. Once in operation, if the calculated weight falls within a program tolerance, the package is good. If it deviates from the prescribed tolerance range, the package will be rejected. While in many applications, the object of the check weighing function is to ensure compliance with local packaging regulations, it's often used for other quality and cost optimization endeavors. Therefore, the check weighing function can be placed at one or more points in the production process, including First, prior to packaging or as part of the filling, portioning process. In both the cases, the weight information will be used to adjust the former or filler using active feedback communications with rejected product due to off-weight conditions potentially being reworked or recirculated to eliminate waste. Next, when the secondary packaging for the product has been completed and sealed, such as check weighing a meal kit component prior to it being assembled with other packaged components. Last, after primary packaging has been completed, for example, check weighing could be used to ensure that all meal kit components have been assembled and inserted into their final carton. Check weighing is often used after the case packer to ensure all required meal kits have been inserted into the case and that no short cases are shipped. Once your check weighing performance goals have been established, it's important to qualify the potential suppliers and their recommended solutions. Reputable suppliers, irrespective of technology, will have the ability to perform accuracy tests using representative sample products you've supplied during the proposal stage in order to provide documented results of how their solution will perform. Accuracy of X-ray mass measurement for check weighing delivers the best results with highly homogeneous packages. Performance degradation generally occurs if the package contents are very loosely packed, where the images presented from package to package are inconsistent, or when ingredients in the product vary from batch to batch. X-ray mass measurement for check weighing is particularly effective for high-speed applications where traditional in-line weighing systems may not offer the same level of accuracy. It's important to consult with local weight and measurement experts to review regulations prior to making any decisions regarding the deployment of check weighing within a production environment. Both conventional check weighers and X-ray systems with check weighing functionality 
provide manufacturers with a valuable in-process tool to help comply with internal company standards, minimum weight, EU average weight, or USA net contents regulations. In many parts of the world, weights and measures compliance testing for average weight and net weight compliance is performed offline using random sampling methods and static balances. For these applications, X-ray systems can provide the internal process oversight to help ensure that all accepted packages pass the offline inspection. However, mass measurement using X-ray inspection doesn't offer a global solution to weights and measures compliance. Local weights and measures authorities may require or expect the device to be type approved for legal for trade use or certified to a metrological weighing standard such as OIML, R51, and R76. For these applications, only conventional gravimetric check weighers can be used. The rest of this webinar will discuss the various methods and options used for determining the mass of a package and even package subcomponents using X-ray systems. It also provides an overview on how to avoid common application problems generally faced when deploying check weighing systems. X-ray systems can deliver accurate and reliable overall mass measurements to satisfy the need for gross package check weighing. Since these systems see inside the package, the benefit of mass measurement can be expanded. For example, take a box of four jelly donuts. The quantity of jelly contained inside each can determine the difference between a happy or dissatisfied customer. From the outside, a donut with too much or too little jelly in the center looks perfect. No one knows until they take a bite. On one hand, too much jelly increases production costs and can be quite messy for the consumer, while on the other hand, too little jelly leads to disappointment and potentially a lost customer. X-ray inspection enables every donut in each package to be checked, even when the line runs at 200 packages or 800 donuts a minute. The X-ray image processing software examines each grayscale X-ray image and from that calculates the mass of jelly inside the donut. If the mass meets the preset standard, the box of donuts passes the test. If a single donut fails, the package is rejected from the line. The manufacturer can then diagnose whether a filling mechanism may be in need of maintenance or if an adjustment to the filler's settings may be required to maintain the standard. What's more, the X-ray system simultaneously inspects the donut for any physical contaminants, ensuring only the highest quality donuts are delivered to consumers. For the products in defined compartments, such as the twin compartment ready meal in image 1, Mass measurement lets manufacturers check the overall mass of the pack and that of each compartment. In this case, the overall weight is correct, but there's low fill in the rice compartment, so the pack here gets rejected. In a more complex application, such as a four-part ready meal being inspected as shown in image 2, the meal consists of turkey meat, peas, cranberry sauce, and potatoes. The center section of the image shows the X-ray grayscale image with each of the compartments and their relative densities. The bottom of the image shows the 3D image of the ready meal used to calculate both the overall package weight and also the weights of each individual area. In image 2, all items are in their correct locations in the right amounts with no contaminants detected so the package gets accepted and continues down the production line. Selective area weighing shown here is achieved by independent area evaluation. This can be mainly beneficial for process monitoring and diagnosis of in-process variations which are not identified by conventional check weighers. Additionally, inspection checks can be made to verify that each of the four items is in its correct place and separated from the other ready meal components thereby ensuring that the product is as attractive inside the box as it is on the outside. Multi-pack products such as cups of single-serving yogurts which are sold in packages of six can present a real challenge. 
If the entire package is within the overall acceptable package weight value, conventional check weighers can't identify if individual packs are damaged, overfilled, or underfilled. Whereas the X-ray systems can inspect individual packages for damaged and off-weight results and when identified can be rejected preventing loss of customer loyalty due to poor or inconsistent quality. In cases where the gross weight of the multi-pack is within tolerances but individual cup contents vary significantly, it will be accepted on a conventional check weigher but rejected on an X-ray system. X-ray systems are capable of detecting products that have the correct calculated weight but contain underfilled items. The image shows a two-lane application for the inspection of a six-pack of yogurts. The fill level in one of the cups on lane two is low, and that pack of six will be rejected by an X-ray system, while the six good cups on lane one are accepted. Measuring the length, width, area, and volume of a product in conjunction with contaminant detection and mass determination is the simplest form of product inspection. This type of image analysis takes quality control to a new level of sophistication. It identifies products that don't look right, even if they're of the correct weight and in the correct position. This additional functionality is found only with X-ray systems, which are extremely useful for manufacturers of products that rely heavily on visual appeal for consumer success. X-ray systems can count products and components that can't be seen or counted by cameras or humans. Take a box of chocolates. The weight variability of each chocolate type or the inadvertent filling of two chocolates in one compartment can lead to a condition where one compartment is missing a chocolate despite the entire package weight remaining within the overall weight tolerance value. A gravimetric check weigher will not know that there's an empty compartment and will pass the box as correct based on its overall weight. In contrast, an X-ray system is not deceived by a good weight and a wrong count condition as it's capable of simultaneously checking each compartment, counting the content and calculating the weight of a box's contents. Images 1 and 2 show a box of chocolates and use both count and zoned mass measurements to ensure that all the chocolates are in the box and their corresponding weights are correct. A pack of six sausages may contain five overweight sausages and one undersized and underweight sausage. A gravimetric check weigher would accept the package because its total weight is within tolerance. However, the consumer and retailer who are both concerned with product presentation and uniformity would consider the package unacceptable. Here, an X-ray system can view the package as a whole and then discriminate each sausage individually. As a result, this package gets rejected. Similarly, a pack of five oversized sausages may weigh the same as a pack of six. A traditional check weigher will not know the difference because the pack falls within the weight tolerance. However, the consumer and retailer both expect six in the package and would be disappointed to find only five. Spotting the missing sausage in this image was easy for an X-ray system. The software found five dark zones in the grayscale image as shown when it was programmed to expect six. By looking inside final sealed packaging and checking that all six components are present, X-ray systems are capable of reducing complaints and ensuring high customer satisfaction. X-ray inspection can also identify and reject packages that could meet the target weight criteria but may contain broken, damaged, or even missing items. Examples of these include a package containing the correct weight of cookies despite some being broken, damaged or deformed packaging such as a can of vegetables that's been dented during production, and a package with a missing premium, giveaway, or prize. Some packaging material types are not as uniform as others and can lead to problems in obtaining desired check weighing accuracy. For example, if the package variability is 2 grams and the desired check weighing accuracy is 1 gram, the performance target can't be satisfied due to the packaging variability. 
Common examples of high variability packaging are glass containers, composite material containers, multi-component packaging, applications where the packaging materials are heavier than the package contents. An example of packaging material weight and variability compared to its contents are blister packs with tablets or pills. In many cases, the weight variability in plastic, backing foil, paperboard carton, and the directions insert are greater than the weight of one tablet, therefore using a conventional check weigher for missing tablet detection can be problematic, if not impossible. X-ray systems look on the inside of a package and measure the contents within the package, thereby eliminating the problems of high packaging variability. Furthermore, in the case of the blister pack, X-ray systems can verify count and look for broken or deformed tablets. Gravimetric check weighers require the weigh conveyor to be physically separated from the infeed and discharge conveyors. In most installations, this requires that the package transfers at least four times. During each transfer, there's potential for the product to become unstable, leading to poor weighing results as it transitions on and off the weigh conveyor. This is particularly true for packages with a high center of gravity, a product that contains liquids or a highly viscous product because movement or sloshing of the container's contents can cause weighing errors. In some extreme cases, poorly designed transfers can lead to package instability and cause these containers to tip over, creating line jams and system downtime. X-ray systems minimize the effect of product transfers as there's no need for a separate way conveyor. Packages pass from the customer's conveyor onto the X-ray conveyor. While on the X-ray conveyor, they go through the X-ray beam for contaminant detection, mass inspection, or other criteria and go past the rejector. Finally, the package transitions back onto the manufacturer's conveyor system. Package presentation is important to both gravimetric check weighers and X-ray systems. The more consistent packages are presented to either device, the better the outcome. Conventional check weighers require a period of time for an entire package to be on the weigh conveyor alone. While this is typically measured in milliseconds, it should be taken into consideration as it will impact package spacing. The package pitch, the distance between the leading edge of one package to the leading edge of the next package, for a conventional check weigher, typically needs to be at least 120% of the package length to ensure adequate weigh time. If the correct pitch is not maintained properly and one package is too close to the next package in line, the check weigher will interpret the reading as an overweight or spacing error condition and reject the packages even though they may actually be within the specified tolerances. X-ray systems do not require weigh time. The package is scanned, the image is processed, and the mass or weight is derived. Only a minimal package separation is required to discriminate between the packages in line to be scanned. The weigh conveyor on a conventional check weigher must be sized to accommodate the longest package weighed. For many applications, multiple products with varying package geometries may be run on the same line. The pitch for those products must be set at the same physical distance as the longest package on the line, or more than one package will be on the weigh conveyor at a time, making it impossible to measure individual package weight. To correct this infeed, Weigh conveyor must run at faster speeds, accelerating the package to increase the pitch in order for the check weigher to work properly. Changes in package speed for either acceleration or deceleration is generally not desirable since it can potentially lead to package instability or change in orientation causing a package skew. As X-ray systems do not incorporate a weigh conveyor, the challenge of adapting conveyor speeds to accommodate different sized packages is not an issue. As long as a small gap is maintained between the packages to identify where one package ends and the next package starts, there's no need to accelerate or decelerate the package to determine an accurate mass value. Various outside influences can affect the weighing performance of a gravimetric check weigher. 
These influences include vibration, air currents, and temperature. Any vibration present in the machine or the surrounding area can introduce noise into the way conveyor and way cell, negatively impacting the accuracy of a conventional check weigher. Air currents can be difficult to isolate and eliminate in a check weigher installation and can cause both up and down draft conditions and create instability in the way conveyor, leading to inaccurate weight readings. Changes in temperature can create an unstable weighing condition within a gravimetric check weigher. Strain gauge weigh cells are commonly used in check weighers as the force measurement sensor, but they can become unstable when a temperature change or gradient exists. X-ray systems are more immune from the effects of vibration and air currents as they do not contain a weigh scale or weigh cell as part of the measurement system. In addition, the X-ray detector is housed within the temperature-controlled X-ray enclosure, thereby eliminating the possibility of measurement errors or performance changes due to these externally created temperature gradients. Most inspection technologies have throughput limitations that, when reached, causes a dramatic loss of inspection accuracy or simply renders it incapable of determining a result. As previously discussed, Conventional check weighers require a predefined time to weigh, where the entire package is on the weigh conveyor alone and undisturbed. Most conventional check weighers reach that practical threshold at about 400 packages per minute, depending on the package size and type. Specialty check weighers are available, which are designed specifically for weighing rigid containers, such as metal cans, and can deliver reasonable performance at 600 to 800 cans per minute. Depending on the package size and type, high-performance X-ray systems can extend that throughput threshold to well above 1,000 packages per minute. The lack of time-to-weigh thresholds and the elimination of fixed package spacing requirements based on weigh conveyor lengths deliver a heightened degree of application and package flexibility. Multi-lane check weighing can be a challenge for conventional check weighers, with each lane requiring its own dedicated and isolated weigh conveyor. In many applications, the package lane centers must be expanded to accommodate this need, which leads to additional package handling complexity and costs. X-ray systems don't have a weigh conveyor. The weight is calculated based on the mass value derived from the X-ray image. Since there's no weigh conveyor to isolate, there's no need for additional separation between the lanes. Package flow can remain in the same lane spacing as it enters and exits the X-ray system, reducing potential installation headaches and costs. Check weighing is an important tool for manufacturers to produce a high-quality, profitable product in compliance with local packaging regulations. The check weighing function can be accomplished by either using conventional gravimetric check weighers or through the use of high-performance X-ray systems, which have mass inspection capabilities. This webinar has given examples of the additional value X-ray systems deliver by added capabilities of zone weight and fill level inspection, counting, package integrity inspection, checks for correct product placement, size, and volume. X-ray systems can reduce or eliminate many of the troublesome application issues commonly faced when deploying conventional check weighers. These include the inability to provide accurate results when variability in packaging materials is present, package handling challenges due to product transfers, package spacing requirements, environmental conditions, and throughput limitations. Combine these compelling quality and mass measurement capabilities with reduced application problems and superior contaminant detection, and it's easy to see why more and more manufacturers are relying on X-ray systems to deliver on their brand promise. For more information, please download our free accompanying white paper, Why Using X-ray Systems for Check Weighing is a Smart Choice, at www dot eaglepi dot com slash why using x-ray systems for check weighing is a smart choice. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you for your time.